Hello everyone, and welcome back to Confronting Chaos, a series of smaller videos to serve as partners to Chaos Fight videos to help you understand enemy gimmicks, dangerous moves, and why synergy characters are synergy. In this video, I'll be going over the Purim Lost Chapter Chaos Fight. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. The Chaos Fight is divided into two waves. First wave is against one Commander Beast and two Worker Beasts, and the second wave is against three Hollow Riders. The Worker Beasts are fairly simple, two Brave Attacks and one HP Attack. The Commander Beast ups this to two Brave Attacks, two HP Attacks, and being able to grant some buffs. But the real issue is if it ends up using Aid, which basically functions the same way as Gloof's Cover except the enemy won't dodge. If the Commander casts Aid, you may as well restart the run. Whoever set the enemy data for the Commander Beast apparently also forgot to include all its move descriptions, if only that also meant the same for the enemy AI as well. The Hollow Riders are the unique boss for this fight. They are weak to ice, susceptible to confusion, and immune to M-Brave down and max HP down. So sadly, Yuffie can't throw that debuff back to them. On their first set of actions, one of them will cast Will of Destruction, an aura which reduces party HP by 33%. Their signature move is Clinging Nightmare. It'll change its bravery to zero, performs a group HP attack, followed by a group hit, and then another group HP attack. The fact that the move is two HP dumps means that last stand type passives will not work against it. Their stat boosting move, Rule of Ruin, will also cleanse the rider of all debuffs and grant it an invisible but high chance of evading debuffs. The tooltip says immune, but based on my run it doesn't seem to be quite 100%, just very high. Most of their moves are single target, and about half of them are melee. With the enemies out of the way, let's analyze the boosted characters for this fight. Porum is a healer, a very good healer. She's I believe the only healer who can do HP overflow while others provide it through an aura. This coupled with her HP damage reduction frame buff means a team with her has very high survivability. She also provides auras via buffs entirely on herself, so in terms of buff slots, she's very efficient. She can battery off all her moves and has a chance to confuse an enemy with her S1. A great support, with her only issue being she can't really contribute in terms of Brave Shave, so the rest of the team needs to make up for it. Yang is the other EX unit on the banner, and as always, he's very proficient at dealing splash damage. His EX cast is at most 80% splash, and he provides his own high potency and Brave buff, so he's got plenty to work with. He also has good buff longevity with his 3 of 3, as his Brave and HP++ attacks will not decrement his EX buff. Palom. Well, he does ice damage, he does splash damage, but his EX is not available on this banner, nor does he have EX plus available. So if you want to bring him here, I won't advise it, but more power to you. With the Hollow Riders being weak to ice, the summon of choice is most obviously Shiva. Leviathan is also a possibility, since unless you're running a dodge team, you're likely to be going to be hit for HP damage at least once in the fight. On the topic of dodge teams, it's pretty dang useful here. As you may see in my run, Galoof covered and dodged basically every normal move with the Hollow Riders throughout. Edge has his party-wide dodge, which could be great for clinging Nightmare, and Shadow is also a choice if you have a means of dealing with the HP damage the other two party members are going to take. Beatrix is also an option for her Holy Knight's safeguard buff, but do be aware that since it's based off her EX cast, it won't be up that often. For friend choice, you're likely best off just for big damage, because by the end of the fight, the enemies have high immunity towards most debuffs. As for the team I chose, here's the breakdown. You may be looking at this team like, wait, there are two tanks, but tr trust me, it works out. Bosch's thing is redirecting and reducing group HP damage, which is what Clinging Nightmare is. As long as I time things right, he handled it more than readily. He also has four frame buffs himself, which in this fight was almost a bad thing, as cover needs to take up a frame slot, but hope can also apply two frame slots. So I needed to be aware of when I use certain buffs. Hope is reworked, shiny, and is a great support overall. He provides good auras, party healing, damage mitigation, and his EX cast does full group damage and has decent overflow even at low investment. Shell helps alleviate the damage that the rest of the party can't properly handle. All around, he's a very good choice. Since most of the Hollow Rider's attacks are single target, Galoof works out pretty well here. He's basically always going to hit cap with his EX cast because the brave hits are to the whole group and with his counters, the enemies were almost always in break. Bosch's lock didn't even matter later in the fight, thanks to Galoof's cover buff. With that, this chaos fight should be covered. If you want to see my footage of this fight, I'll link it in the corner and in the description below. If you liked what you saw and want to see future fights, subscribe so they show up as they're made. If you have any suggestions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.